Hi, this is Lou from Surfcasters Journal, and today I thought we'd give you some options on possibly taking apart a two-piece fishing rod that's stuck. A lot of times on the internet I see guys asking a question, how do I get a rod apart? They put it together and now it won't come apart. Between heat, sometimes there's a little something on the blank, air gets trapped in there and the rod locks up. The guys will try and take a rod and try and get it apart and their hands are slipping, they're trying, they're twisting and nothing's happening. So one of your options is to get a pair of ladies Playtex gloves and use them. They're a good rubber and they give you a good grip. Right, they're about two bucks in, uh, in any of the grocery stores. And if you have a two-piece rod, it may be handy to just get a pair and keep them in the car. I know these are very impressive. All right, and all you're going to do is you're going to take your rod, get a grip on both sides, and you're going to twist. Now, the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to grab this guide and use it as a lever. Because I've had more than one guy come back to me, they grabbed their reel, they grabbed here and they were twisting and what happens is when you do that is you crack this guide. You'll either crack the guide feet, the epoxy on it, or you'll physically bend the guide. Alright, so you want to grab down from there and you want to take the rod, you can use your reel as a lever, and you twist. Okay? As you can see, that's not working on this particular rod. So your second option would be to take your rod and you're going to put it on ice with the theory being that you're going to get this carbon as cold as you can and hopefully it's going to contract some and shrink so then you might be able to pull it apart okay so we're going to take a bag of ice and we're just going to lay it right over the ferrule and we're going to let it sit now this could take anywhere from five minutes to sometimes a couple of hours if a rod is stuck really bad it'll take a couple of hours for this to work you want to get it really cold, but I would leave it five to ten minutes and then give it a try and see if that works for you. Again, you might want to keep your gloves on just to give you that better grip when you twist it. All right, so now we've had this rod sitting for a little while. We're going to check, and the ferrule is nice and cold. And now we're going to see whether or not this actually works. Okay? Sure enough, this rod came apart. Won't happen all the time, I can guarantee you. You're going to get some rods that are stuck and they're going to stay stuck. And unfortunately, you now have a one piece rod. One thing you want to do is to avoid that, if possible, is to make sure that when you get back at the end of the day, that you clean your ferrule and that you take a Q tip and run it around the inside. If you've had any kind of problem, you feel it getting a little sticky, clean the inside out and clean this ferrule. And it'll avoid some of that stickiness. It'll avoid the, the chance of getting any moisture. What happens is a lot of times, guys will wash the rod. They take it apart, they wash it, they get some moisture up in there, they put it together the next day, they're out fishing, and they get that lock in there. It's like a vapor lock. And that's when you can't get that rod apart. All right, to avoid that, make sure everything's clean, everything's dry, and it could possibly cut down on you getting that rod locked up.